Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. So I beg to call the attention of the Honorable Chief Minister, Home in charge of uh, in charge of Home Political, under the Rule 54 Clause 1 of the Rules of Procedure Conduct of Business, to the news item dated 6 January 2024, published in Salat Online News Portal under the caption "Suspected Bangladeshi Nationals." Murdered Indian man for betel nut. Sir, man. Yes, you may. You may proceed. I am thankful to the honourable speaker for admitting this call attention motion and giving me a chance to highlight these issues of great concern, which has shaken the peace and safety of the people living in the border areas of East Jante Hills District and in and around Umkang Village. Sir, on the 6th of January 2024, around 15 to 16 Bangladeshi coming from Bangladesh site entered the border at, Balari, at Balasira, which is in India, under Lumsuski village, Umkeng, East Jente Hills district, Meghalaya. They came with the motive of to commit theft of betel nut inside the Indian territory. With the intruder, with this intruder, met two Indian citizens, namely Sri Rahul Potam and Sri Silvanas Dhar of Umkeng village, who were guarding their betel nut garden. The Bangladeshi attacked these two Indians with sharp and long knives. The two Indians did try to defend themselves, but they were overpowered by the Bangladeshi intruders who chased and attacked them fiercely. Sir, the two Indian tries I tried to run and escape after seeing the Bangladeshi have charged towards them. However, one Indian, Sri Silvanas Dhar, also known as Chiang Dhar, was caught by, by, the, by the Bangladeshi and they brutally attacked him with knife and killed him on the spot. The attack was so brutal that one of the wrists of Silvanas Dhar was cut off and his body and head were full of major cuts. Sir, the incident had caused serious concern about the safety of our people along the border in and around Umkeng villages and village and their produce. After the incident happened, sense of fear spread and prevailed amongst the people, especially those farmers who have betel nut garden along the Indo-Bangla border. People were scared even to go to the garden because of this incident. So I am told by my constituent that Bangladeshi people freely enter and exit Indian territory in and around Umkeng village and commit theft of betel nut from the garden of our people, causing great financial loss to our people. Sir, so the easy entry and exit of such foreign nationals makes me wonder as to what the border security force are doing along the border. People have expressed concerns about the capability and negligence of the BSF to protect our borders and crops when such intruders freely enter our territory without fear. Sir, the BSF is a disciplined force, there's no doubt, and such negligence act to secure our border cannot be accepted as this cause threat not only to life and crops, but also to the security of our nation. So lapses to secure our border cannot be accepted as, in, in, as it indicates failures when such entry is frequent and crime is being committed on broad daylight without any fear. So my people are scared of even going to their garden now after the brutal incident as the BSF cannot fully guarantee their safety. Because of fear of theft of betel nut from the Bangladeshi, many people have to deploy their own guards 24-7 to protect their produce. There is a need to reassure our people in the border that the government and BSF will protect them and ensure the, uh, the security of the border people around the border areas. The BSF needs to enhance patrolling even in the day to ensure safety and that instead of 
posting the BSF personnel along the National Highway 6. These forces should be sent and posted along the border to secure the border and prevent such incident. Not only in Umkeng area, sir, there are in the surrounding areas, the small villages that are also uh, areas in the, where the farmers are there. They also fear the Bangladeshi uh, to enter the village. The, the, it still prevails in all the villages around Umkeng. Recently, there was another incident in, Jul uh, in January 2024 in Dona School Village. Indian farmers were threatened by Bangladeshi people inside the Indian territory for which complaint had been filed with the Deputy Commissioner of East Gentry Hills District. So I am also to inform the House that last year also such brutal incident happened when one lady from Dona School Village was brutally killed by the national in Dona School Village within the Indian Territory. This only shows that negligent act of the BSF is preventing the Bangladeshi nationals from entering into Indian site and this has to be rectified to ensure safety of our borders. So along these areas, the BSF are doing great job in preventing smuggling, but in doing so, they fail to prevent Bangladeshi from entering our site illegally and have failed to prevent the theft and crime along the Indo-Bangla border. I'm told that the Indian farmers are often harassed whenever they visit their garden along the border, but there is no check to these intruders. So the safety of our people and their property are at stake. After this incident, it is the duty of the government and the BSF to ensure that our border is secure. As such, I call upon the government to take corrective measures and to take up this matter with the BSF and to ensure that our farmers and people are not harassed and disturbed by the BSF and that the border is secure from such crime. I'm requesting serious attention of the government on this matter and to stop this menace. With these few words, sir, I resume my seat. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Minister in charge, reply, please. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. At the outset, I, thank, I take this opportunity to thank the Honourable Member of this August House, Srimati Santa Mary Shilla, MLA of Sutinga Saipung Kursasi, for tabling this calling attention notice under Rule 51.1 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in Meghala Legislative Assembly. Under the caption, suspected Bangladeshi nationalist murdered Indian man for Pirna. Sir, it was reported on the 6th January 24 that Sri Rahul Potam, son of late Janmin Dhar, resident of Lum Soski village, while regarding his uh, betel nut garden at a place called Balisara, Lum Soski village, and the Ilaka Narpu, along with Sri Chiang Dhar, 55 years, son of late Daniel Sushyan, resident of Umkiang village, East Jantel district, witnessed around 15 to 16 Bangladeshis. Nationals coming from Bangladesh side carrying sacks and ropes at around 2.30 p.m. The Dao tried their best to chase them away, but the Bangladeshi nationals started to attack them with Dao and Nathis. Sir, the ensuing melee, Sri Rahul Tam fired one round from his licensed firearm in the air to scare them, but due to mechanical defect of the firearm and as the Bangladeshi nationals were making way towards them, they both had to flee from the place. Sir Sri Rahul Potam managed to escape from the place and rushed to his village at Lumsovsky, village to inform the matter to his family members and villagers. But unfortunately, Sri Chiang Dhar was caught by the Bangladeshi nationals and brutally attacked him with their dows and lathis, and he succumbed to his injuries. Sir, immediately on receiving the information, the villagers rushed to look for Sri Chiang Dhar uh, at around 4 p.m., the deceased body of Sri Chiang Dhar was found with cut injuries. So the body of the deceased was sent for medical legal proceedings, and after completion of all the legal uh, procedures, the body of the deceased was handed over to the relative. So in connection with this incident, a case by Lung Shnong Police Station, case number one, in bracket 124, under section 447-302-34, IPC has been registered. 
Sir, during the course of investigation, a thorough search of the place of occurrence was conducted, and during the search, it was found that the miscreants had taken away one firearm registered in the name of Lee Chiang Dhar, bearing license number LN23683, A7, A15520, UNI number 23683002, 9287320, issued by the District Magistrate, East Chanty Hills District. Twelve rounds of ammunition, one mobile phone belonging to Sri Rahul Potam and one mobile phone belonging to late Chiang Dha. Sir, subsequently, the SP, East Chanty Hills District, has taken up the matter with BSF authorities by letter number DSP KLT slash act dash 47203-2023 slash 60 dated 10 January 2024. To take up the matter with Border Guard Bangladesh and the outcome of the flag meeting is awaited. Further, sir, the, in order to curb illegal smuggling, illegal infiltration, and to prevent killing of innocent civilians by Bangladesh nationals along the Indo Bangladesh border area, the Office of the Deputy Commissioner West Jaintia Hills, Jawai, issued a prohibitory order, Section 144 CRPC, on 31st January 2024 prohibiting movement of people at the international border with intention to enter into the Indian Territory, prohibiting illegal, undesirable activities, smuggling of cattle, contraband goods, essential goods and other items such as betel nut, dry fish, beer, cigarettes, etc., and also prohibiting movement of persons on foot or vehicles carriage in public under 5 km of the border belt from 6 to 5 p.m. 6 p.m. to 5 p.m. Sir, the State Police has also adopted various measures to enhance the safety and security of the people living along the international border with Bangladesh, and this includes the strategic setting up of 13 police stations, namely Mahanrakans, Ampati, Dalu, Bakmara, Rongara, Dauki, Knosla, Shela, Mausunam, Ranikor, Longsnong, Gasopara, and Nonghalam near the Indo-Bangladesh border, and the setting up of 19 anti-infiltration units along the international border. Sir, police officials have been consistently conducting mobile and foot patrolling, long-range patrolling at a regular intervals along the Indo-Bangladesh border, so as to instill confidence and a sense of safety to the residents of the border areas. Sir, the district police station along the Indo-Bangladesh border are also maintaining close relation with the border security forces, wherein joint patrolling and operations are being carried out regularly to curb trans-border crime and illegal infiltration. In addition to this coordination meeting with the BSF at different levels are being held from time to time to address several issues including crime committed by Bangladeshi nationals along the Indo-Bangladesh border. Sir, recently I would also like to uh, inform the honourable members and the members of this August House that the government has also issued a notification dated 16 February 2024, where the Deputy Commissioner of the respective district as well as the, uh, the SDO civil of the respective civil subdivision will be the chairman. And the name of this committee is called Coordination uh, Coordination Committee, uh, and the member says the area commander of the BSF and the SP or SDPO wherever uh, wherever necessary, and also with the uh, members of the of the traditional heads like the village headman and the sirdar of those respective uh, places. Sir, the community liaison group have also been formed by the officer in charge of police station and in charge of police outposts comprising of BSF officials, police, headmen and village elders. Meetings are conducted from time to time to sort out issues of the people residing in the border areas and during such meetings support of the border residents is also being solicited in sharing of real-time intelligence with the police, BSF on movement and activities of suspe uh, su suspected anti-social elements. Bangladeshi nationals in their respective villages so that swift and effective measures can be taken to counter, neutralize any impending threat. 
Sir, Village Defence Party have also been constituted in the border areas under the supervision of respective SDPOs, OCs and ICs for the purpose of carrying out preventive patrolling, promoting crime reduction, measuring and assisting the police in their official discharge of duties. Sir, before I conclude my speech, I would like to take this opportunity to inform the members of this esteemed House that even though various measures have been initiated to provide security to the people of the border areas, but due to the porous nature of the border, especially in areas which are yet to be fenced, crimes perpetrated by Bangladeshi na nationals have been reported from time to time. Sir, international border issues pertaining to Meghala, particularly concerning crimes committed by Bangladesh nationals require comprehensive collaboration and diplomatic efforts in accordance with the international convention. Despite the issue that persists due to international protocols, the police department is leaving no stone, no stone unturned in its endeavor to deliver justice to the victim and the family members. The district police is not only expediting the investigation of the case, but in collaboration with the BSF, a strict vigil is being maintained along the interest boundary so as to ensure peace and security of the people residing along the border. So with these few words, sir, I thank one again the honourable member for raising this issue. And with these few words and clarification.